Well, our first guest this week is coming to us direct from New York City, Mr. William Gorfine. He is the CEO of a company called Pure Logics Incorporated. Their stock symbol is L-O-G-X. So, William, welcome back to the program. Thanks for having me today. Well, we're glad to have you here. Now, Pure Logics describes itself as a company whose software platform can track and catalog torrent files and their users. Can you tell us exactly what is a torrent file? That's right. So we track torrent files, their activity, and their users. And torrent files are typically movies, TV shows, and music. And then to a lesser extent, software and video games as well. And you know, these are users who typically want to download or exchange that content for free all over the world. So there's something like 140 million torrent users worldwide. That number continues to grow really on a day-by-day -day basis. The entertainment industry has always viewed them as a problem. That's right, they do, and they viewed them as a problem for basically the entire duration, entire 15-year duration that torrent files, torrent networks, and basically the technology as a whole has existed. And again, this is a pervasive problem diffused worldwide of, as you've said, approximately 140 million homes. And what PeerLogix has discovered and what we're saying here is that you know, these, these consumers, these are valuable consumers, they're not going away. This is, at this point, um, a validated form and popular form of media consumption and a technology which is very popular worldwide and to the entertainment companies and then brands and organizations as a whole these are still people that are very valuable to actually advertise to and they're very valuable for products and services and therefore it's a population of people which to date have been underutilized as a audience base for advertising and messaging. Well, PeerLogix is able to catalog these torrent users and direct banner advertising to their devices. How exactly does that work? Right, so we enable both research and banner advertising to torrent users worldwide. And the way it works is we've developed a way to monitor all of the activity taking place, and we can actually survey and see all of the torrent users worldwide while they're in the middle of their consumption on these networks. And what we do is we make a simple note, a simple survey, of that consumption taking place and more specifically where it's taking, a pla taking place. And we have the ability to actually remarket to them via their computer address. When we see them actually consuming a TV show or music via torrent, we make a quick note of their computer address in the same way that an advertiser makes a quick note of your computer address when you're browsing the web. And we've integrated with very traditional digital ad delivery platforms around the web to deliver ads to them um, on an ongoing and regular basis. So this is outside of the torrent networks. This is when these same people and same valuable consumers are actually browsing the internet on a day-to-day -day basis, be it a news site, be it a blog, whatever their choices are. We've actually integrated with the proper platforms to deliver ads to them in a conventional way. So William, uh, who becomes your client? Is it the content provider and, and how are you paid for what you do? Right, so either content providers or, or brands could equally become our clients. It's really anyone who has an advertising and marketing budget to spend. And the way they become our clients is quite simply, they sign up for our dashboard or for an actual digital ad campaign. They pay a very traditional and very normal cost to either license the dashboard itself, which allows for independent research on the torrent community, or to actually implement a digital adver advertising campaign in the same ways that they implement a digital advertising campaign today on Facebook and or Twitter. Um, we fit in right into the same spectrum and ecosystem. So what they would do is quite conventionally get a hold of one of our project or account managers and we would work with them to either give them access to our proprietary dashboard product or work with them to implement the proper campaign of their choice. Well, the industry has been spending millions fighting torrent piracy. You're offering them a solution that generates revenue rather than expense. That's correct. We think the, the proper approach to this community of people is to actually monetize them. It's bring them back in from the gray area and find a way to actually, again, make money off them, not from the CD sale itself, but um, from a concert ticket or from a particular brand which is actually sponsoring the artist or sponsoring the concert itself. So instead of stopping them, because this has been in existence for approximately 15 years, we're saying there's a different approach, a better approach, and something that's more economically viable for today's economy. Well, how soon can you roll out the software program? Have you already been making presentations to the entertainment industry? We are. We're in the process of rolling it out. We are approaching our commercial launch. 
and we are preparing to heavily invest in our business development and sales process to get our story out there to help validate the story and to bring on clientele. Well, William, PeerLogix has been compared to companies in the early stages like Twitter, Google, and Facebook. What are your thoughts on that? Well, what unites and what the similar thread between all of those companies really is, is the fact that all of those companies in their early existence were sitting on top of a large community of people which they had not yet figured out how to properly monetize. And I think Facebook's a great example. When Facebook was first entering the public markets, they had about a billion active users. And there was a big question mark if they could figure out how to monetize all those users. And it wasn't until they actually implemented an advertising revenue business model where the model basically stated, we're going to open up this entire user base to advertisers and therefore have the flow of advertising dollars flow through the parent company itself that they were able to become a very successful and very viable company from the investor community standpoint. Now we're taking the same validated business model and we're implementing it to the population of people who we track and monitor, which is the Torrent community, which are those approximately 140 million homes worldwide. We're actually implementing the same validated business model and we're implementing an advertising service to them where we can actually bring on brands, organizations alike, and direct the flow of their advertising dollars to the community itself. And I think for that reason, there's analogies between PeerLogix and those aforementioned companies. PeerLogix, L-O-G-X is their stock symbol. Uh, William, why is this a good time right now for people to take a closer look at your company? Because this is the time where we're really entering the public markets. We're entering our emerging growth phase, and right now is the most exciting time for me and my team as we prepare for a lot of growth ahead. Again, the stock symbols L-O-G-X, PeerLogix Incorporated. Uh, William, fascinating interview. Thank you so much for joining us again. Thanks for having me again, Don.